morning students this is the third video for lesson 1 standard 6 chemistry uh, introduction to chemistry in the last class we have read about the development of chemistry by alchemists so what was alchemy it was uh, the scientific and spiritual practice of integrated or study of integrated chemistry with metal work and the people who practiced alchemy were alchemists and we came across few notable chemists now today we are uh, going to start the next part that is importance of chemistry how chemistry is important in our day to day life now if you see the first line itself describes that chemistry is of vital importance and plays a fundamental role in all aspects of life the human activities performed in everyday life directly or indirectly depend on the applications of chemistry. Chemical processes takes place to produce numerous useful substances. Chemistry helps us to understand ourselves. Let's go some shopping. Can you see all these products in the uh, racks of the shop? You all are familiar with these products? Or these jams, jellies, or what about a pizza, or what about a pizza, or ice cream, or the delicious idlis, and the spongy doklas. No, I'm not here to talk about any cooking show or any other thing, but, but all these products somehow are related with chemistry. Whatever we eat, which contains the nutrients values, or the process of making them or the preservatives, colors and flavors used in them are the gifts of chemistry. We use baking for making these items like cakes, pastries, etc. We also use baking for making biscuits and freezing. All these products are somehow related with the chemistry. Your mother puts the daily leftovers of food in freezing. To prevent it from spoilage. This knowledge is also imparted by the use of chemistry. You can see here how chemistry is affecting us in our day to day life. It is a very essential part. Chemistry is actually very creative, analytical and logical science. We all have the pleasures on our daily basis and we enjoy the foods, the different kinds of fru uh, fruits, vegetables, preserved goods, frozen goods are the uh, chemical inventions. Or to the when we wear the colorful clothes or see any shiny car. So all these are inventions of chemistry. The chemists around the world, they work on a daily basis to manufacture the various products. And they also maintain the highest standards from the metallic paint for the cards or coating for the compact disc or the nice fragrance of perfumes you wear. So all these are gifts of chemistry. So here you can see chemistry adds its role in food and chemistry where food processing, food and agriculture, use of preservatives like salt, sugar, vinegar, sodium benzoate etc. is done. Except this, many techniques which we use for cooking the food like baking, frying and all are also uh, the uh, due to the knowledge of chemistry. Even the nutrients you know, nutrient contents that is also due to the knowledge of chemistry. Second comes the role of chemistry in cosmetics. So different products which you use for bathing, uh, makeup and all body care are the gifts of chemistry. Clothing and chemistry. Clothing means clothes. So chemistry also adds to the clothing industry or textile industry as various products like terylene, nylon which is used for making your uh, socks, ex uh, raincoats etc are the products of chemistry they are chemically synthesized they are synthetic fabrics okay you know them by the name of synthetic fabrics then medicines and chemistry so so many different types of medicines like aspirin paracetamol 
penicillin ampicillin antibiotics detol and other pro are the products of chemistry chemicals and industries now here it is a vast area the building materials like cement and steel are the gifts of the chemistry then glass wares or glass you can say paints different types of paints some which you are using na i have also a sketch pen in the hand so all are the gifts of chemistry different types of dyes dyes means colors used for coloring the clothes then uh, let the products used for tanning the leather and other things are also the gifts of chemistry now we will see one by one how chemistry is helpful in each and every one so the first one is food and chemistry so if you can see food and preservatives is the first topic in this segment so it includes three main points increase in the production of food preservation of food from spoilage and the third one is food processing let's see increase in production of food so with the increase in the population there is a increased demand of food so how you will do that so for, for that we need to apply new kinds of techniques you so fertilizers using fertilizers pesticides insecticides and fungicides so fertilizers are the chemicals which provides nutrients required for the crops for proper growth like uh, urea other chemical uh, fertilizers and all so sodium nitrate potassium nitrates these all uh, are manufactured in various factories and are available for the farmers and they use these kinds of uh, uh, chemical based fertilizers for the growth of their plants according to the need of their soil see pesticides pesticides are the chemicals which kills different pests like rats and all so what happens these also uh, increase to the uh, production as they kill those pests which spoil the crops and fruits so some uh, pesticides are aldrin malathion and parathion then comes insecticides so insecticides insects damage a variety of crops and uh, uh, plants so to prevent this varieties we need some chemicals to kill these insects like benzene hexachloride then comes fungicide fungus also spoils the plants they also inhibit the proper growth of plant leading to the death of the plant so what happened to prevent this we need chemicals like uh, polysulfide ethylene oxide to kill the fungus second part is preservation of food now preservation of food means uh, making food uh, or saving food from spoilage then what is this spoilage spoilage means that the nutritional value texture and flavor of the food has been damaged and it be it has now become unsuitable for eating that means you cannot eat a spoiled food if you will eat a spoiled food then you will suffer from diseases like food poisoning so how we can say that the food has become spoiled when a bad smell is coming out from the food a greenish or whitish uh, mold generally found on breads or some layer is there or change of color or the food has become sore in taste that tells you that the food has been spoiled this is done because of the moisture present in food temperature or the growth of microorganisms now we normally use methods like uh, like freezing at home this is this helps in uh, uh, lowering the temperature or we boil the food also like we boil the leftover dal so that it cannot be uh, spoiled for a few more hours freezing lowers the food or boiling generally in, uh, increases the temperature as well as it lowers the moisture content and one more method is pasteurization so boiling and cooling at the regular temperature it was developed first by louis pasteur so it also inhibits the growth of bacteria or the microorganisms so because moisture is not present so one of these three conditions is not there so then microorganisms won't grow 
another one is canning means when you use canned uh, uh, food like uh, mushrooms or uh, pineapples or you can use that canned baby corns so there what happens the uh, food is first uh, put into a bran solution and it is made free from the air so one more air is also not there so when air is also not there this is one more condition so when air is also not there then bacteria or other microorganisms cannot uh, cannot grow then we can use drying or using excessive salt and sugar excessive salt and sugar also takes out the water or the moisture from the food items and that is the reason why your mother always adds increased amount of salt in while making pickles or sugar while making jams or jellies so this prevents the food uh, from spoilage by the bacteria another method is there drying means so many different types of meats are either smoked that means uh, dried over fire or in a uh, fish is dried in the sunlight for reducing the moisture content again we use different types of chemicals also for preservation of food now let's see what are the chemicals which we use for preservation of food like you see here benzoic acid it is used for preserving jams pickles and carbonated drinks means soft drinks like your pepsi coke etc then nitrates are used for preserving meat products sulfur compounds used for beverages wines etc some preservatives may have got side effects but they uh, help in Uh, uh, preventing the spoilage of food by preventing the decomposition by bacteria or microbes reducing the risk of food borne infections okay and preserve the they also preserve the natural um, quality of food now we'll come to the second part that is food processing food processing means uh turning raw materials into marketable food products now when you go again to the market your mother buys tea yes na or coffee powder or sugar crystals or salt these all are processed foods or cheese ice creams then bread then uh, um you can say uh, uh, wafers all are processed food so it involves different types of physical or chemical processes and these change the raw materials into food products like uh, raw material if you are eating wafers potato wafers then the raw material will be potatoes and they are peeled then washed peeled fried and packed so that they can be sell, uh, sold into the market as ready to eat potato wafers so in this so many different kinds of uh, processes are used like mincing means uh, uh, for making the bigger chunks of food into very uh, small chunks cooking the food or making the pickles by using vinegar and salt and other things preservative addition means addition of chemicals like benzoic acid nitrate sulfur compounds etc then canning the food means putting the food into the can and packaging packaging the food into air free or air tight containers etc this kind of uh, processing is in uh, used in the sugar industry fish processing meat pro uh, packaging tin vegetable snacks like your biscuits wafers then jams jellies confectionaries different kinds of chocolates etc